All right, let's take a look at how to use the sleep.ai toolkit to annotate a, a video containing a moving animal and then use that to train an artificial neural network to automatically track that motion afterwards. Um, for this, I'll be using an example video here of a, a porpoise swimming around. Um, and it should uh, emerge just around here. It comes here. Um, so let's try to load this into the program and see what happens. To launch a program, I can use the program of uh, the command named uh, sleep dash label, and then the user interface will start up. And let's just wait for this. Uh, we have a, a main pane over here that lets you uh, view the, the frames of the video you're working with, and there's a lot of additional information over here uh, about exactly what you're doing at a certain moment. We will start by adding uh, a video for the analysis. Um, I placed one in, in the folder I started this from, just to make it easier. And I can choose that it should be in RGB. And now we have the video and we can actually jump forward and back in inside this as, as we want. So this is the first part. The next step will be to define the skeleton or the key points we want to annotate uh, of the animal. Um, so I'll have the, the beak or the mouth part of, of the animal, then the blowhole, then the tail uh, attachment point, finally the left fluke and the right fluke. And I got this one too many, so I'll just delete that. In addition to these five points, I would also like to add some connections between these two. So the beak should be connected to the blowhole with a line. The blowhole should be connected to the tail attachment point, and the tail attachment should be connected to both the left fluke and to the right fluke, like this. At this point, I can start labeling uh, by uh, right clicking and then choosing uh, Add Instance. And the next step is then to start moving these uh, elements into place. And initially, uh, it knows absolutely nothing about where to uh, put uh, certain things. Uh, but now I got my first annotation up. And we can actually see that it has been annotated inside these instances. I can use the um, uh, left and right keys to move forward and back. And then I need to repeat this process to add instance default and then start moving things in place. And now it starts to get a bit easier because it uh, just places in the model in the exact same location as it was before. Of course, animal has moved in, in this case. Um, but it still allows us to uh, to actually uh, just move things uh, slightly and, and get them into place. Like this. We can just continue. And we need to do this for um, approximately uh, 30 frames or so. Um, to have uh, enough uh, training data. The more training data, the better model you will be able to generate. And it's also possible to use more than just a, a single video for for doing this kind of uh, analysis. I'll just show it here with, with a single video. Um, like this. So... Down here you can see I have labeled five frames, so it, it'll take a, a short while to to get closer to to the about 30 we, we need to hit. Um, and I'll actually stop the, the video uh, before I reach uh, that point. But I hope it, it makes sense what I, we are striving for here. 
when I manage to, to reach uh, 30 points uh, or annotations, I will make the next entry of, of this uh, session.